before I went to prison, I worked at a coffee shop, you know, chain uh, coffee shop. And, and I learned, I learned the value of gratitude there. And it gave me some kind of hope, you know, some kind of vision. And, uh, it sparked my interest in coffee. So one of the things I had to do when I first got home was convince convinced the prison system that I wasn't going to come home and break the law. Right. So, um, I really am going to just sell coffee because of course they don't really believe that. I don't know what they think you're going to do, but they don't think you're just going to go do the right thing, stay on the right path, whatever. Um, and when I first got home, I had on ankle monitor. So you got to sort of get around with an ankle monitor on, right. And convince people they should support your coffee business, but you got on ankle monitor, but you have to learn, you have to relearn how to be just a, a human and, and, and deal with humanity. And then remember, it's not about, about survival. It's about having gratitude. It's about having a loving attitude and it's about being passionate about what you're doing. And just knowing that every time you take a right step, then God is just going to follow you on your path. So the challenges of course are money, right? Um, you have to build, um, everybody's confidence in what you're doing and you have to, you have to, you're always aware of how your criminal record can hold you back or something like that. Part of my motivation was I wanted to prove everybody wrong. Right. And it sort of was why I worked so hard to be a great parent. I was a teen parent. I wanted to prove to everybody I'm not a statistic. Right. So I came home from prison. I want to prove I'm not a statistic. Um, and then I went through, um, a program called inmates to entrepreneurs, but then I actually, for the first time in a very long time, started dating somebody and having somebody who believes in you, because you can believe in yourself all you want to, but you kind of don't have anybody to bounce it off of. But then when somebody else is seeing what you already knew was there and they confirmed that, then that kind of, that's, you know, I mean, just walking in and seeing the beans and then saying, oh, wow, you roasted all those beans. You know, I mean, it seems small, but like I did roast these beans. So having somebody important around and, and just um, my desire, I mean, I've probably had that desire since I was a kid is to prove everybody wrong, to prove I'm better than what somebody thought. And then at some point I realized I don't have to be better than anything. I can just be myself, just chill and just do, you know, just do what makes me happy. So, so it started with the desire to prove everybody wrong and then having somebody who actually poured into me a lot of gratitude and then just being able to live out their gratitude on a daily basis. So Queen Coffee Bean is a specialty coffee roastery, but is now grown into an, also a, a cafe space or a coffee shop space. But the inspiration was because when I worked at another coffee shop, I saw how easy it was to build community around coffee. Like, you know, you, you can, it reduce, re, it kind of lowers the barriers for that people have up when they don't want to kind of talk to anybody. So a really great seller is our cinnamon bun latte. Um, we have a cookie butter ice latte. So a lot of the ice lattes are a hit because they have coffee ice cubes and everybody loves that. But, but I started with a popcorn popper, $130 on Amazon and two pounds of coffee beans. So I think my whole setup was like $200. And so, um, I started out with the free website. I, I was in the kitchen at my house. And I outgrew the kitchen space. So I moved into a warehouse space, but I was just in the break room. But then I outgrew the break room and I had coffee beans everywhere, <laughs> like a mad scientist or something. And so I started, I started looking for another space. And so I moved into the space where I am now. Oh, they love me in Hot Point. Um, everybody loves coffee, right? And so they love a new coffee shop. They love to stop by. So everybody, I'd love to have you down at Queen Coffee Bean. Of course, I'm Claudia Shivers. You will see me most of the time making all these delicious beverages. We have iced coffees, hot coffees, iced lattes, hot lattes, fraps, lemonades, and teas. Um, we have coffee ice cubes. We have hibiscus ice cubes. Y'all want to come down and try it? We got a delicious raspberry matcha that you want to try. Um, our address is 1200 East Chester Drive.
Drive, Suite 202 in High Point, North Carolina. We are upstairs in the blue building. So just come in in the same door as the hair salon. Somebody will definitely tell you where you are. Um, and you just follow the coffee smell. Um, on Facebook and every social media platform, we are Queen Coffee Bean. And, of course, you can follow me as well, Claudia Shivers, on every platform. And we just love to have you. We love to have you come in, try our delicious beverages, and get you a pound of beans.